Everybody lift your voice, guide my feet while I run this race. Everybody. Guide my feet while I run this race. Sing it again. Guide my feet while I run this race. We recognize that the gubernatorial debate is about to begin nearby, and we are here not uh, to support any particular candidate, but to call attention to the needs of the children, not only of Philadelphia, but of all of Pennsylvania. My hope is that during these 10 days, and really during this entire lead up to the gubernatorial election, that we as a commonwealth will do that important work of turning inward, of turning into ourselves to realize what are our most important priorities what is most important to us as a state, whether it is prisons or is it schools. Commonwealth, to his credit, has made education a central issue in this campaign. He has called for more funding for education, but we haven't seen him in the communities and the neighborhoods that are most impacted by the school cuts and school closings. We haven't seen him out there. And we haven't heard anything from him on the whole question of mass incarceration. The fight for education and the fight against mass incarceration are two sides of the same coin. Our students put it very simply, no education, no life. Incarcerate? Yes. Incarcerate? Yes. That's our main thing that we are trying to do uh, in the state of Pennsylvania, not just uh, in the surrounding areas, because we understand as the coalition, incarcerate is made up of organizations, groups, individuals, all concerned with what's going to happen to our children in this society today tomorrow and in the future. We believe that building prisons as opposed to building schools and giving education a chance to change the minds and hearts of the youth is not acceptable. We will not stop until we have people who are in fact in the position to make the decisions about where the money goes until they understand the priority. And the priority is the youth of our society. They're the ones who are going to grow up and be the future leaders. Why should we not make sure that they're educated properly, that their health is proper, that their homes are in fact secure? Those are the things that are the primary concerns of the incarcerated PA. We stand with power and we don't support either of the candidates. Whoever gets in office, we want to hold them accountable to the people of this great state. When Jesus stood before Pilate, he said that we, I have come to bear witness to the truth. And this morning we have come to bear witness to the truth, truth that is spoken in a nonpartisan way and to which we will hold accountable whoever is elected the governor of the state of Pennsylvania. We are no longer going to accept our leaders coming to us one day a year. We just want to be seen of men and we refuse to supply us because we're all neighbors and we're all in this fight together. We ask that you fight with us in this cause. Thank you very much. We want to thank you all for coming out this morning and uh, as the governor's uh, candidates sit inside over tea and coffee and bagels uh, having their debate. Uh, we're here for our children. We're here for our future. And I want to suggest to you that while all of the cameras have gone and moved on to other more important things, and they may not be watching, that somebody is watching. We're watching. We represent 60,000 voters who are watching. And we believe by faith, all of these faith traditions, that there is a God somewhere who still sits high but looks low. We need not only fully funded schools, but schools that are connected to the lives of our communities, that nurture and support our families. 
We need jobs that pay a living wage. We need a criminal justice system based on fairness and restorative justice. When we have these things, we can start closing prisons instead of schools.